Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of the AGP Tech Wi-Fi streaming receiver. This is a small little receiver here that's designed to receive various audio signal from your mobile device and pump it into your audio system or your speakers. So um, come in a little small box and here's the sleeve of that box. You can see here it support DNLA, LPlay and FLAC lossless uh, format here. So uh, in the back you have some more information. So this is some of the things that it support. So there are some of the formats support the NLA, LPlay, and QPlay, but uh, it also support FLAC and those kind of format. And then uh, down here you have specification. You have uh, B, G, and N wireless up to 150 megabit per second, and uh, some other information. But anyway, I've been using this device for a while, and I kind of want to give you guys a really quick review of it. So it's made out just aluminum, and it feels really solid and really nice. Small little unit. It's kind of like a mimic tiny little Apple TV or something like that. Anyway, it has this uh, kind of like golden aluminum. Up front you have two little LED, you have a Wi-Fi and a power. So at the back you have your antenna which I connected, this little short antenna, you can take it off but I had it on here. Uh, it only have Wi-Fi, there is no internet on this guy, so you do need Wi-Fi. Uh, you have a DC 5 volt in, a reset button, a spiff input, audio and then a USB port. Beside this unit you also get a RCA to 3.5mm audio cable, I'll get about that in a minute. You have a 3.5mm auxiliary cable. You also have this USB to micro USB cable for using a uh, pound unit. I found that you can use your TV or anything that uh, have a USB output that has given up power 5 volt, and you can power this unit and it works fine. I actually use a small Android box I have next to it. I plug it in to test it and it works pretty well. So when you plug it in like this, uh, you will get a little power light and it takes a second for it to power up. You can see here, there's the light, and then uh, the Wi-Fi will come on. So give it some time. Uh, while it's doing that, I want to talk about this cable. So uh, normally you don't need to buy really expensive cable, but in this case, uh, the RCA cable for me was crap. I plug this in my uh, receiver at home, plug this in there, and uh, while I'm not playing anything, it makes all kind of weird static noise. That was really annoying. So I swapped to a better RCA cable, and that really helped. So this uh, cable here works better. This cable you plug into the port in the back here. And then you can output that into uh, your stereo system, and that seems to work okay. Anyway, for my testing, because of that annoying cable, I used the SPIF connection, uh, the optical audio out. My receiver was able to uh, receive this and decode it with no problem, and that works quite well. Now, uh, when you power it up and you connect to it Wi Fi, there's a Wi Fi for it. It's called Wi Fi Music, that's the one. So, if you connect to it, for example, there is the user menu here. That user menu explains you some instructions on how to set up and all that stuff. So, smaller user menu. But after you do that, all you gotta do is just go to the web browser and go to the address 10.1.1.1. And so once you're at the main page, this is what you see. You have some option. Uh, you have file management. You have a, if you have a USB uh, flash drive stick in there, you can actually access those file management. You have a basic setting here, for example, uh, which gives you the Wi-Fi. You can set security and all that stuff right here. You can do all of that right now. And then you have audio service. Here you can change the service name. So right now it's a uh, uh, on AirPlay on my phone, it will show that Wi-Fi music streamer. I'll show you that in a minute. Internet connection. I already set this up so uh, you can connect to your router and have all that stuff working. On the advanced setting, you have some uh, more settings here. You have the path for the music port, some uh, server settings so you can use the NLA with this guy. So you plug in a USB uh, stick here, you can actually use it to play music off that. There's a sample drive setup right now as you can see. Go back to the main menu. And then finally you have upgrade firmware which I don't have anything though right now. And here you go as you can see. There is Wi-Fi music streamer. You just connect to it and I, and I can play song out of my sound system and that works quite well. I don't have an Android phone to test it with but you can actually use the tablet or whatever. I do have some Android tablet but I didn't feel like messing with it. I want to point it out that in the menu here you can actually do the same thing with Android. You have to just download an app and you can turn on this app. It's called Share On Audio and then you can just a DNA you know play to it so that's another option you can do with that but uh, for most of my tests I use an iOS device and I want to test for LPlay because uh, that seems to always to be a favorite uh, easy to use uh, solution so overall this unit is pretty simple to set up and pretty easy to use the uh, reception is pretty good it basically just connect to your Wi-Fi system so if you have a good router nearby you shouldn't have any problem with it there is no Ethernet uh, line so you definitely need a Wi-Fi so I hope you short load review help you in your purchase decision if you have any question, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.